Howdy folks. Welcome to the Studebaker Wagon Shop. My name's Ben Wheeler. I'm mighty glad you came by for a visit. Why don't you sit back and let me tell you a story about, about what St. Joe was like when I arrived here back in 1849. You know, this place, it was the season of cauldron activity. St. Joe was on the western edge of civilization back then. It seemed as if all the civilization was here in St. Joe. People were elbow to elbow in the streets. You could hardly squeeze into the door of any shop. People with their animals, and wagons, and their tents, they were camped everywhere. Let me tell you something, it wasn't the cleanest of conditions either, you know what I mean. But that didn't matter to most of us men, you see. We all had one thing on our mind, gold. It had been discovered in California. We were all in a big hurry to get out there and get some. The headlines in the newspapers all read it. It's a gold rush. St. Joe was right in the thick of it. You see, this town was the place where people would gather, buy wagons and supplies and their animals, and they'd raft across the line of Missouri. News of John Sutter's workers accidentally finding gold in one of the sawmills they were built for the whole country. People were headed out west by thousands. They were following the Oregon California Trail started back in Independence in 1843. Independence is a little city about 60 miles southeast of here. They traveled that trail and were trying to fill the Oregon Territory with American citizens. And here's why. You see, back then, the Oregon Territory didn't really belong to America. Like no, no, no. Old America, Great Britain claimed it. Well, we here in this country figured if we could just fill that territory with American citizens and settlers, one day we'd probably be more likely to own it. That's pretty much how it happens. In fact, most people figured it was God's will that we expand coast to coast. Yep, yeah, they called it Manifest Destiny. Now, the gold rush was part of what became known later on as the Great Migration. It lasted for 30 years. We gold miners, along with pioneers, we went out west on a 2,000 mile, five month long journey based on hope and promise. During the busiest of those years, from 1840 to 1870, there were 500,000 people went to Oregon, California. And the folks moving out there, they were always trying to find the quickest way. Now, the early settlers left out of independence. By 1849, when everybody was in a big hurry to get out west and find the gold, folks started to figure out that St. Joe was situated a little further west. So those people coming up river from St. Louis, well, they just bypass independence and take off from St. Joe. See, they figured if they stayed on the ferry boats for about another half a day alone, they could get to California by taking off from St. Joe three days faster. Now, as a matter of fact, in 1849, 50, and 51, more folks left from St. Joe than any other jumping off the wind. Maybe that explains why this place is a dang lame crap. You know, there are quite a few people who travel alongside us on the way out. They all found their promised land out of Utah. Yep, 90% of us made it. Folks that didn't make it, numbered into tens of thousands. They say 10 people. idea of what that was like. It'd be like taking what you folks today call the football field and putting two of them in the end. Very impressive. Across both of them. And then if you lined them up the whole way to California, we walking across. Very impressive. And we all wanted a better life back then. It seemed like we were all headed for it. There were those Greatest 
mass migration of humanity that this continent has ever seen in recorded times. Anyway, hardly anybody had time to sit down back then and ride about St. Joe and their experiences. I finally did manage to find a few people in here. Let me read you some stories from some of the diaries. On May 2nd, 1849, Mr. John Banks wrote, We arrived in St. Joseph, a dirty little town on the frontier of Missouri. Its growth has been very rapid, but its appearance is uninviting. Here we begin to see what an excitement California has created. On the river at Lexington was confusion enough. Here in St. Joseph, it is a complete jam.